Utah's real estate is as diverse as its climate. From the summits of Park City all the way to the Red Rocks of St. George, Utah's real estate is bursting with character. Utahns love their real estate. But it's always evolving and changing, whether somebody wants to sell it or remodel it. This is Utah Real Estate Essentials. Well, it's just so fun. So Becky, it looks like we're headed out to the beach, but this is Stansbury Park and you do a ton of business out there. This house is just awesome. It is right on the lake. It's such a fun location, um, especially if you love being outdoors, being in nature, being near the water. You've got awesome mountain views. Like it's just such a killer spot. So Becky, I am so excited about this. I don't think a lot of people in Utah realize what a great area this out is out in Stansbury Park. I, I think it's been sort of a little hidden gem for a while, but I, I don't think it's gonna be hidden for too much longer. Stansbury Park is only 20 minutes away from our Salt Lake International Airport. It's only 25 minutes away from Salt Lake downtown. Um, and it's just really growing. Yeah. And this house is in such an awesome location right on the lake. And so off the front of the house, you're looking out at mountain views off the front. Out the back, you're looking out over the lake. And so you can fish off the backyard, yeah. right? Yeah, no, we catch uh, bass and bluegill right out of the backyard. My father-in-law lives just across the lake. So um, we have some personal experience with that. There's In the summer, it's amazing. You've got people out there um, with their kayaks and their canoes and their paddle boards. It's just a really great place to live and it's so community centered. It's just awesome. It's it's an amazing place to live. And this house, as we're looking at the inside of this, is just absolutely beautiful. Can you imagine bringing somebody in from California and say, listen, you can be right on the lake for less than $500,000. I mean, they would be like, are you kidding me? Yeah, no, it's a great, like I said, it's just a great spot. And this floor plan is really well suited for the lake and the location. You know, you walk in and you've got this nice ceiling height. You've got all these extra windows. Um, through the back of the house, you know, you're looking right at the lake and the kitchen is nice and open and um, does have three bedrooms upstairs and an extra loft area. Of course, there's an extra bath upstairs as well. The laundry's on the main. Um, and then, you know, you've got a four piece master bath, nice walk in closets, just tons of natural light. Yeah, and they're really getting those views out over the Ooh, lake. I know. Where you're looking at. These are from those back bedrooms and they're just, it's just beautiful. And so off the back there, they've got their uh, their own little area with a uh, beach out there and everything. Yeah, yeah the beach and a fire pit. Um, and the, the yard has just been really well maintained and it's immaculate. Um, the seller actually put new sod in um, just because he's, he's funny, he's particular, he just wanted new sod. So <laughs> he did it the way that he wanted it. And it's just a great yard. That's space great. and look at this so it's got a lot of place where you can expand down the basement right yeah yeah there's still plenty of room downstairs to do a large family room and one or two bedrooms and they've added some retaining space there so that it would be really easy to convert that that basement to a walkout basement and that's kind of the design and look at this this is your backyard i mean look at this i, I can't even believe it i'm just I, I want to move to Sandsbury Park. It I would love so to have this house. It is so peaceful. It's just a peaceful, wonderful place to live. Great you could, neighbors, you great think community. About just, uh, I mean, your summers just sitting out there looking at the mountains and that beautiful water and fishing out your own backyard. I mean, it's like just absolutely unbelievable. Okay, Morris, for this one, we're going to South Jordan. I love South Jordan. It's such a great area. It's a good little spot, huh? Yeah. Okay, so take a look at this beautiful little neighborhood. So this is a 33-unit uh, HOA, and HOA can be really good because it makes for a nice, classy style, you, but but it's not overburdening. It's not like a bunch of money, but you've got this beautiful, it's a long cul-de-sac that we're going to on this property as we go inside. Look at this, just absolutely darling, right? This is a beautiful home. I really like this. 
again, it, it looks again like a parade of homes. More and more houses look like this. HDTV is working, apparently people are watching because this is it's just starting a little farmhouse kind of style with those classic little bricks that are in here. Okay, so this house is 41, 13 square feet with four bedrooms and three baths. It's on 2.24 acres. And one of the nice things I like about the backyard's got this nice elevation to it where you could do a nice waterfall or you could do some really cool landscaping on. Notice right up in the front as you come in, it's got that office that you walk right past and it's a big, huge office. And going upstairs, it's got lots of bedrooms upstairs. It's got four bedrooms upstairs and good sized rooms. Yeah, indeed. This uh, looks like a great place to raise a family. Yeah, for sure. Well, you're on, a, like, like I said, on a nice big long cul-de-sac and all the houses are very similar style, which is nice because they conform real well to each other. So everybody has kind of a similar feel to the house. And take a look at this beautiful uh, master bath. They've done such a nice job on this one. Beautiful, beautiful property. And it's on almost a quarter of an acre. So you're getting, uh, South Jordan has got a, a really nice location in the valley. It's kind of in the flatlands right there. Nice little community, lots of bedrooms and baths in this house. And they've really loved it, as you can tell. It seems like that's a pretty big lot for South Jordan. Yeah. And well, it's nice. If you look at that backyard, it's got a nice terrace look. And oh, so if you wanted yeah. to see what I'm talking about, like you could do a waterfall that came down the back side of that. This is, I mean, I like this property. Look at it, it's beautiful. They did a really good job and this area is just developing really well. Long before I was an actor, I was an army ranger for the United States Army. So the VA loan is near and dear to my heart. It's a complex loan and a difficult process. And so I've partnered up with Real Estate Essentials and we started a program called the VA Home Alliance. It will include a zero down payment loan, a free inspection, a free appraisal, and for a thank you for your service, they will pay your first house payment. Not only does this make the process easy, but it also offers a lot of benefits. So if you have any more questions, please check out the website. Okay, Morris, for this one, we are headed out to Farmington. You wanna talk about a growing area. Farmington is a great community. Who doesn't wanna be out there? Yeah. Okay, Morris, take a look at this beautiful view. <laughs> this view is amazing. Yeah, take a look. So we're looking at the White House down here at the uh, at the bottom here, but look at the backyard and how it looks to all this open space. Gosh, it's almost like you live in the country and you've got all the trails out back. It looks like you could go for miles. Yeah, it's got, it's got to and take a look. It looks like HDTV right here. It's it, this is a really beautiful neighborhood, but this ha this house stands out. It's just absolutely beautiful, and it does connect to some really cool walking trails. There's horse trails and stuff back. It's called the Rio Grande Trail, and that goes for miles and miles right off the back of that house and as we go inside take a look this looks like a, a parade of homes it, it really does I, I love how bright it is the colors and it just looks so sharp crisp clean really nice floor plan you'll notice as we turn around and look at the kitchen it's nice and open entry and it looks over everything so if you're in there cooking you can be entertaining and talking to everybody that's in the room and the colors and styles the house was built originally in 2000 2013 but it really looks like uh, it looks like a parade of homes today it, it does look it looks like it's brand new yeah they've done a beautiful beautiful job very tasteful work the house is just about 3,000 square feet with five bedrooms and three full baths it's on point uh, two two acres and the garage is a three-car garage but it's not just that it's also an oversized three-car garage so you can fit a boat or something in there wow that's always convenient now as you go upstairs here, they've actually got five bedrooms upstairs uh, and two full baths and it's about 1600 square feet. And take a look at the master as we go into it. It's right on its own wing, off in the corner and outside the master ba uh, bedroom is you're looking out of those views. And, and the, those views are certainly spectacular. Yeah, going into the master bath, he, again, they, they brought in those really cool style and colors. And again, those views are right out there. So, I mean, you get Farmington, which is such a great community with the new mall that went out there. The place is just exploding. It's almost like its own downtown. You get this beautiful house in this great location. It, you have so much access to so many things. This Farmington's really up and coming. It's been a great community. Yeah, and so you get all these nice things. Not only does it have five bedrooms upstairs, but it also has a loft up here as well. 
And so they really knocked it out of the park. This one has everything going for it. It's got the garage, it's got the view, it's got the colors and style that are going on. And they really, as you can tell, they really care for the property. They've taken nice care of it. And this this is great for any size family. Yeah, look at this backyard. I, I can't, this is a neighborhood where people really care for their for their yards and the way they live. There's a lot of pride and ownership. And if we look around and we take a look at the backyard neighbors, you can look, they just really love this property. And look at the views out here. Farmington is a yeah. great location and this is a good house. Yeah, this is a beautiful home. Okay, Sheree, for this one, we're headed down to Utah County. We're going to Highland, which is one of the very nicest communities in all of Utah County. And this is going to be the Sterling Point, kind of 55 and older, kind of retirement, but active community, which is really nice. And this particular one sits right on the edge of the project. So you've got the extra landscaping out there that's all taken care of by then. It's got all the extra parking, which is nice. Yeah, it looks great with wonderful views. Yeah, very nice. Now take a look at this, right as you're walking down the hall here, you come into this beautiful dining room. It's beautiful, wainscoting, a lot of detail even on the ceilings. Yeah, notice everything is really clean and precise. The, the home was originally built in 2014, so it's pretty brand new, really. And as we come down here to the end of the hall, you'll notice it's gonna open up to a big, huge room here, which is nice. You got your living area and your, and your kitchens right off the back and lots of windows and unique ceiling heights, which is nice, but kind of classy look. Yeah, I noticed the windows right off the bat and it's a perfect place to entertain. Yeah, and they've kept it real classy classy in style with those nice cabinets, kind of warm colors, a stainless steel, you got double oven, you've got a nice gas range and the places where you can sit right up at the, at the bar there. And again, you're looking, one of the nicest things about this one is you're looking out the windows. You're really not, there's nobody close to you. You're looking into your backyard and there isn't anybody peering in through your windows and stuff, which is really nice. Yeah, it's a wonderful spray, space, granite countertops, nice big master bedroom. Yeah, master bedroom on the main floor, which is obviously really important this kind of style and they've done a really big huge master bathroom as well and you'll notice big soaker tub separate shower and they've got the laundry right in a big huge closet that's perfect for chores yeah really nice because you can get all your stuff done right down one of the nice things also on this property is there's actually two bedrooms on the main floor you'll notice right as you come in the front door if you make that a quick right you go into another bedroom and that one's en suite it actually has a full bath involved with it oh Wow. Yeah, very, very nice. And that dining room is a bit of a flex room. You could turn that one into, that one could turn into an office if you wanted to go that direction, which is nice. Which is really perfect for, you know, Highland. That's an area that a lot of people will work from home. So that's a perfect option. Nice thing going down to the lower level, just to the left is some nice storage that's kind of tucked away. And you'll notice a big, huge open room for entertaining down here. And they've finished out the basement uh, completely. Well, that's perfect. You could really utilize that space for a lot of things. Yeah. So we're at about 32, 56 square feet, a total of four bedrooms and three full baths. Uh, like I said, it was built in 2014, so it's pretty much brand new. It's got a two car garage. It's got everything you want. So if you want to be close to, you know, everything in kind of that Utah County area with a lot of tech boom going on. And when we see that tech boom coming in, we usually see a lot of appreciation involved with these properties. And it's got its own private backyard, which is nice. Right, this this location has a pool and a lot of amenities too. So this is a, a hot little property. Yeah, very, very nice. The HOA provides this where you've got a pool, clubhouse. It even has a, a home theater in there that you can rent out and bring your friends. So if you want to come and watch a movie, uh, um, you can do that. Big, nice pool. And you'll notice there's nothing behind there. You can see those nice mountains just kind of rolling behind. This is a good little property. So you're buying a new house, and what if something breaks in the first year? Ask your agent to get an Elevate home warranty. We cover major systems like your appliances, your plumbing, your electrical, your hot water heater, your furnace, your garage door opener, and we also do rekey. So next time you buy a house, just don't buy any old home warranty, buy an Elevate home warranty. Okay, Becky, so with the coronavirus and everything that's going, a lot of people are worried about the real estate market and what the expectations are there, right? Yeah, rightly so. Um, but I think we need to remember that this is, we're in a position with housing right now where we still have really low inventory and there still is a supply and demand problem. 
So I just took a really quick look at the numbers in Salt Lake County active today. There are 1,651 homes available on the market. Last year at this time, there were 2,132. And last year was a really big year. There was a lot of activity and we were low on inventory. So we're even lower now. Yes, we're even lower now. And people are still have to have a place to live. So just yesterday in the market in Salt Lake County, 51 homes went under contract just yesterday. That's right. So um, in Tooele County last year, there were 255 homes available. Right now there are 179. In Davis County, there were 592. Right now there are 497. So we do still have a supply and demand issue. We do still have an inventory issue. And that's really different than what we've experienced in the past. I think what we can expect is for this to be like a 9-11 event, mm -hmm. you know, where it's not like 2008. It's more like 9-11 where something traumatic happens. The stock market crashes, everybody panics for a little bit, but then it settles out and we get right back to where things were. Right. And it may take a little bit longer for certain industries, you know, hospitality and leisure and entertainment to come back. But we do anticipate that as soon as this thing is over, that housing will bounce right back to where it was. And we don't really know, we're just still taking it day by day. But we do know that in the past, a, a stock market crash hasn't meant housing recession. They're two separate things. Yeah, and so what we should expect is this thing clears out and we should just get right back to a, a lot of demand inside the market for Utah real estate. Yep. So Morris, for this one, we're headed right up by Pepperwood Cove. I'm really excited to see what this one. The views are amazing. Well, Morris, if you like views and you like location, you cannot get much better than this. In this property, take a look. Now notice on the left-hand side there, you've got three car garage and it's also got RV parking on the back side, okay? Which, I mean, you get the RV parking up, plenty of space, which is good. But around the right-hand side of the property, on the other side, there's another two-car garage. Oh, wow, that's nice. Yeah, and that one's more built like a shop. It's got heat and everything built into it. And so, so if you wanna be working inside the house on the lower side, outside of where your cars are parked, you've got your own shop on this property. So we've got location as you walk into, and take a look at the inside. It's all been completely remodeled, beautiful. Wow, that's I like that. I really like that fireplace in there as well. Yeah. Big open kitchen, as you can see, that enters in just to kind of your own little living area, which is so nice. The, and the views off the back, you'll notice like a park-like setting in the backyard. Yeah, indeed. And gosh, look at the remodel job on this. This looks beautiful. They did a really, really nice job. And so to get in this area, when you get into kind of Pepperwood, right up there by the golf course and everything that goes on and those nice parks that are up there. And we're looking at almost well, almost 4,400 square feet. We're at 4,327 square feet with th uh, four bedrooms and four baths. But I'll tell you that real nice master bedroom on the main floor. It's got a couple bedrooms on the main. So it's got two bedrooms up and it's got two bedrooms on the lower area, lower level, but it's got lots of light down there. Gosh, they've done such a great job with this house. This is this is a spectacular home. This one is expected to sell because garages are one of those, those things that they will sell a house. If you build a house with a really big garage, they tend to always sell because it's kind of a niche kind of buyer. A buyer will just fall in love with that because they some people just, they've got to have a lot of garage. Yeah, and then to have two on this one. Yeah, and so well, you've got the three car garage on the one side and down to the lower level, this is another nice option. This has got a lots of storage down here, but that, that lower area that we're gonna go look at here in just a minute, it's got an option where you can turn that into a mother-in-law apartment. It's got a separate entrance that comes into it. And so if you wanted to wall that off and make that into a mother-in-law apartment, you could totally do that. So you've got, think about that. So you've got a shop that's built in, you got your three car garage, you've got your RV parking, you got your location. Take a look at this, this is your shop. Gosh, there, there's so many things that a dude could do in there. This is like a man cave, really. It is, but the location's dynamite. It's up there by all those golf courses and everything that go on. So this is, somebody's gonna fall in love because there are a lot of people that are just looking specifically this is where we're talking about where you can do the mother-in-law apartment. It's got the access that comes in. They've left it open to the whole house, but this is something you could add in. Kind of a little niche, little property that you come across and take a look at the backyard. It's just absolutely beautiful. That is beautiful. Yeah, and so, of course, the location is dynamite as you're looking, you're right up there on those mountains. And look at the green grass is already coming out up there. 
Yeah, and you've got you've got a view both ways basically. You can see the valley and the mountains from this one. This this is a good property, and there's your little access I was talking about off that side. So that that two car garage is a tandem that comes in. Take a look at those beautiful views, and we're looking over the valley right there. You're up over looking at everything over the top of this thing, and this is where the golf course is. This is a really nice uh, uh, country club that's up here. Um, I'm, I like this property. Such a great area. This is a good one. This one's gonna sell. Somebody's gonna fall in love with this property. They're not gonna be able to resist it. So I'm here with Shane Peterson with Amity Homes and you build some beautiful homes, right? Thank you very much. Yeah, Appreciate very, that. very nice. And so where are we gonna go look at today? What's this? We're going down to the Evans Ranch subdivision in Lehigh. Uh, it's out kind of heading out towards Saratoga Springs, right by the Jordan River. Kind of backs up to Willow State Park. Nice, nice open area. So Shane, I can't help but going down the street here, there are some beautiful houses in this neighborhood. There are, and uh, they're, each of them is different by design. So they're not all cookie cutter. Yeah, which is so nice because they still have that same kind of, you know, grand feel. I mean, there's some million dollar homes on the street and take a look at this one. This is a big, huge Rambler. It is, it's 5,000, a little over 5,000 square feet total. It's a great home. Yeah, and as you're looking at this front door, I just love the colors and styles the designer picked out and look at the views off the back. One of the features that the architect has is lots of windows, so great natural light. Yeah, and you can tell he really did a really nice, it's almost like the house is designed really around the lot because there's some open space to the back, right? You won't have any backyard neighbors. Ever, which is a nice feature. Really nice. And so it kind of looks out so you can kind of see what's going on off in the distance. But take a look at the kitchen, beautiful. Beautiful kitchen, nice uh, quartz countertops. Yeah, very nice. And the, now the backyard is called Meadowlands, right? It's wet meadow, which is a distinction different than uh, wetlands. And it's uh, it'll be wet in March and April and then dry the rest of summer. Yeah, which is, is kind of nice. And so again, it kind of gives you that open space. And so you can look out and see things that are going on. And so you see birds and all that kind of stuff flying in, which is great. And one of the things we really like is, is the floor plan. The master is off on the one side and then the bedrooms are off on the other, right? That's right, the master's on the one side and it's got its own private suite, big closets, uh, big double vanity, big tub, and two heads in the shower, and then the other bedrooms are on the other side of the house. Yeah, really cool styles. Very uh, artistic the way they just put these little touches of colors and big, huge closets. And one of the things I noticed also, it has an entry that comes in off the back side of the house. It's got two entries off the front, right? It does. Uh, nice to have a, a separate entrance for your kids to come in and drop their backpacks and shoes. Uh, in the mudroom area and then keep the main entrance uh, free and clean for your guests. Yeah, which is nice because it's got a big grand entry as you come in the front door and it looks out at all those windows and stuff. And then you've got another area where they can, the kids can come in on the side. And one of the other things is we're looking on the other side of the house. Each of these rooms off the other side are massive. Great big rooms and walk-in closets in all the bedrooms. Yeah, and just the way you want to have it. And the house is all, it's on almost an acre, right? This one's on 0.93 of an acre. Yeah. which is fantastic. It's huge. And so right now it's three bedrooms, it's three baths, but the basement uh, could be finished out if somebody wanted it to do, right? Absolutely. Yeah, why not? If that's something you want to get into, this area with the tech boom that's going on, this area is expected to have a lot of appreciation and a lot of stuff coming in. So this is, it's a great area and you can tell by the, the quality of the street and the houses are going in there that this is, I mean, you did a really good job on this. Thank you. This is yeah. definitely where you want to be. Yeah. Let's head down to the Red Rocks of St. George and see what the Ames team is up to. This week we have one of the most custom, coolest homes we've ever had on the show, Jay. Really? I'm excited to hear this. So this home is a true Italian estate. It's about 2,750 square feet with a 1,700 square foot courtyard that you'll see here in a minute and a real deal, totally upgraded casita. Wow, this is amazing. So what you're seeing here is all private courtyard. It's fully gated, fully walled, fully enclosed. And this is the house for entertaining. The sellers, they actually have parties here every year with the neighborhood and they have over 600 neighbors and family members come. It is awesome. Yeah, it definitely looks like a house to entertain and have everybody over. I mean, this is really quite, uh, it's really lavish. Yes, you, you will not find anything else like this in St. George. It's upgraded over the top completely custom floor plan and upgraded like you wouldn't believe. 
Yeah, real nice colors and lots of light. We always like that, right? Right, tons of natural light in this home. And it's about 2,750 square feet, including the casita. It's a really large oversized three car garage and it's all single level with a really cool floor plan that you'll see. Oh, very nice. And that's that's so important down there to have one level living like this. And so this is just sprawls out forever then. It's a big home. Right. It must be a big lot. It just lot. keeps going. Yeah. Yes, it's over over a quarter of an acre. And there's a the true main detached casita. And then there's also a what could be used as a kind of a mother-in-law apartment that's attached to the home that still has its separate entrance as well. So a lot of potential for whatever you want to do with this home. It has it all. Yeah, very nice. Looks like we're looking at the office here. Very well laid out. Yes, so that could be used as an office or bedroom. It's, you can tell it's totally professionally done. This is also right here, office or bedroom number two that has you know whatever you want to use it as, it's awesome. And super upgraded, incredible master suite that you'll see here. Wait till you see the finishes and the upgrades. Yeah, very nice, very classy. Very classy. And I have to let you know too, in person, it doesn't look this yellow. It's actually very mellow tones inside. It is awesome. Yeah, and sometimes we, uh, the camera sometimes will pick up some different tones and make it a little bit uh, unique, but I can see what you're saying there. Sure. So here is actually the large craft room or laundry room, and that could be great for crafts or whatever you want to use it as. Here is the additional casita, and then here back to the uh, open courtyard. Wow, look at this. This is an indoor, just kind of open area. Right, so this is actually the two car garage that's currently used as a preschool. And then you'll see the uh, separate oversized third car garage. Wow, very nice. Lots of options with this house then. A lot of options. Yeah, so they're, they're actually running a preschool out of there. That's really nice. Okay, so looking around at this backyard, it looks like the neighborhood is also very, very nice. Yeah, great neighborhood. It's actually in Serenity Hills, which is one of the absolute nicest, and it will be very, very close to the new temple coming in. 